this winter I'm going to be reworking my original panel, but I'm going to do a slightly larger one with a bit more resolved lead line. I'm going to take this and run it along the bottom so that the lines go under the car. It just it doesn't look right to me. And I'm going to rework the panel that I'm going to put the lights on. Move my finger out of the way. I'll have that lit up with the, the lights and you get that little bit of halo effect from them. So that'll be the next and I'll have a bee, the chrome bee, floating above. Uh, so I'll have to extend the height of it, which is this cartoon roughly. This is rough and this is the practice effect that I'm going to redo for the top part in brown. It's actually going to be brown, not a sort of warm colour rather than a cool blue but that's the effect I'm going to be using. I just knocked this together just to make it a... Uh, well, I'm a fan of Bertone, you see, so this will hang in my window. <laughs> and just scrap bits that I used up for it. That's just a clear... This was clear. And I've just built it up the layers. And there's about three layers of enamel fired individually to build up that. You can't see it on this camera. A very deep blue. That's my next project for the winter, as well as the, the Lagonda. I'm really looking forward to doing this. This is going to be silver. And I, I'm going to rework. I've got loads of photos of Power 101R, which I'm basing the car on. And I'm going to. If I should focus. There we go. So I've extended it. I'll rework this area and I'm going to, I haven't decided if I'm going to do these lead lines. I'll have to do something for this area to break it up a bit. I might just move that to the middle, that kind of thing. We'll see, we'll see. But I'm looking forward to doing this one.